Okay, let's talk about similar polygons. And if you're taking a high school level uh, geometry course, you're definitely going to study similar polygons. But even if you're not studying geometry, you can look at this problem and probably use common sense to figure it out. So these two polygons, that's what uh, these are right here, they're polygons. Of course, I'm going to explain the definition of a polygon in just one second. But these are polygons and they happen to be similar. So what does that mean? Well, I'm going to hold off here uh, one second defining all this because I want to give you a full opportunity to solve this problem. But anyways, we're looking at similar polygons. And what we want to do is determine this length right here. Okay, so you can see here we have all the lengths of this polygon, we have all the lengths, but this length, and we want to go ahead and find the length, uh, this length of this polygon right there. So if you think you can solve this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then we're going to talk about what similar means, what a polygon is, and uh, most importantly, how to solve this type of problem. This is not going to be that difficult. But uh, anyways, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades. It really is my true passion uh, to help as many people as I possibly can learn mathematics. And I'm going to tell you right now, all of you could be successful in math. And I'm especially speaking to those of you that have a tough time with mathematics. Please do not give up. The number one thing you need to be successful in math is great math instruction. What I mean by that is whoever you're learning math from or whatever you're learning math from, it's got to make sense, all right? Nothing's more frustrating than sitting in the classroom and being totally confused for an hour. And this is not a knock on any uh, particular teacher, or maybe you're trying to learn math from a textbook and you're just totally confused, right? If you're always confused, you're not going to learn math. See, math is a technical subject, and sometimes it can be taught in an over, uh, overly technical manner. The way I like to teach math is to explain things in an easy-to-understand way so all students get what's going on without watering down what you need to know. So if you need help in your current math course, or maybe some sort of special test that you're getting ready for that has math on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, maybe a teacher certification exam, or if you homeschool mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different uh, math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also gonna leave links to my math notes in the description as well. You absolutely must be a great note taker to be successful in math. So if you're uh, not taking notes or if you're taking so-so notes, improve your notes and you're going to see magic happen in terms of your uh, grades. But uh, anyways, you can use my notes in the meantime if you like. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's talk about these words here real quick. It's similar in Polygon, then I'm going to show you the right answer. A polygon effectively is just a closed figure uh, made up of, let's, I'm using very loose language here, of just like straight um, segments, okay, straight line segments. The first polygon we can have is a triangle, okay, then you can have rectangles or quadrilaterals. So this is some sort of uh, polygon. That's what a polygon is. And now similar, okay. Well, the symbol for similarity is this little uh, symbol. We'll talk more about what uh, similar means, but just in case you were wondering what um, a polygon was, that's what it is. And I'll uh, hold off on similarity, but let's show you the answer. We're trying to uh, determine this length of these similar polygons, and the length of that side is eight. So again, you probably, um, you know, a lot of you out there could just use common sense. You're like, I don't know what a similar polygon is, but just looking at the figure, it looks like that side would be eight. If you got that right, let's go ahead and celebrate your success in math by giving you a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you can share with your friends and families that you were able to figure out a similar polygon problem today. All right, so nice job. Let's go ahead and take a look at this figure here, and let's just kind of like stop and think about it. So as I indicated, this is the definition for similar. I already kind of told you roughly what a polygon is. Let me tell you what um, uh, similarity means. So if you notice here, these basically look like the same shape. This is just a small version of it. This is a bigger version of it. And that's effectively what similarity means in geometry, okay? It's basically the same shape but different size. I kind of like to think of it as a zoom uh, in or out situation, right? So let's suppose 
you know, you were able to kind of grab this, maybe like with your mouse cursor, and then you kind of grabbed this like so, and then you pulled it out and you made it bigger like this with your mouse cursor, you know, maybe with your uh, hands if you're on a tablet uh, PC. That's effectively similarity, okay? So basically, we have the same shape, we just made it larger, or we took the larger shape and made it uh, smaller, okay? That concept in geometry is called uh, similarity. Now here, th this angle would be the same as this angle, okay, once we kind of change this figure from a smaller to bigger or bigger to smaller, the angles would be the same, okay, if we kind of notice here, and uh, the angles don't change. The only thing that change, uh, changed here was the lengths, okay? But here is the deal, right? So when you have two similar um, uh, figures in geometry, the corresponding sides are proportional or corresponding corresponding sides are in proportion so what does that mean well if we take any two sides and we create a ratio in other words we compare any two sides let's suppose we take this side here seven and we compare it to four in other words we just create a fraction seven is to four well that's going to be the same as if we can um, compare the same corresponding sides now what's the uh, corresponding side well, 7 corresponds to this side right here the, with the 14, and the 4 corresponds to the x. So if I take 7 and I divide it by 4, it's the same as taking 14, or it's going to be equal to 14 um, to x. All right? So effectively, these sides, corresponding sides, are in proportion. So in other words, we can set up a proportion to solve this problem. Now, a lot of you are like saying, that is like way too much work, Mr. YouTube Math Man, because I just kind of noticed here that 8, when I multiplied it by 2, I got 16. 12, when I multiplied it by 2, I got 24. And I said, you know what, let me see, 7 times 2, I got 14. So probably if I took this 4 multiplied it by 2, I would get 8 over here. So again... If you just looked at that and you were like, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know what similar uh, means, I don't know what polygon means, but I bet you this uh, answer to this is eight. That's good stuff, right? In other words, yes, very, very good. It just, you know, goes to show that you should never not try to figure out a math problem. Never just look at a math problem and be like, oh, I have no idea. At least attempt it and reason through it with whatever logic you might think is uh, sound. And uh, of course, you know, we'll have to take a look at your answer. But if you figured that, if you figured out the problem this way, that's perfectly fine. But you need to understand the bigger picture here that we are talking about proportional sides. Okay. Now this is an easy problem. I could have made it much more challenging, much more interesting. But uh, anyways, with that being said, all we have to do is figure out this proportion, i.e. solve for x, and we will have uh, gotten our, our answer 8. So we have 7 over 4 is equal to 14 over x. So this is a proportion, i.e. two equal fractions in algebra. So how do you solve proportions? Very easy. All we need to do is use the cross product. In other words, if we multiply across 7 times x, that's going to be equal to 4 times 14. 4 times 14 is 56. And so to solve for x, all I need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 7. And 56 divided by 7 is 8. So there is our 8, our missing length. x is equal to 8. Okay, so again, similar um, uh, polygons. This is not to be confused with um, a concept of congruency. So if you're taking high school level geometry, I have a full complete high school level geometry course Okay, you might be interested in. And similarity comes up, there's similar right triangles, which are uh, I think a little bit more challenging than similar polygon problems. Uh, so there is, a, you know, this is a big topic you need to know in geometry okay so don't walk away from me and be like yeah i'll never see that again well if you are studying high school level math you will definitely see similar polygon type of problems okay so hopefully this little video helped you out if that's the case don't forget to like and subscribe and with that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures thank you for your time and have a great day